What's going on guys? Big Time 110 here. And I hope everybody's having a great year so far. So happy 2020 to you guys. But today, I want to talk to you guys about a ROM called Havoc 3.0. Now this is the 1221 2019 update, which it seems to be the latest. But with all that being said, let's get right into the ROM. As you can see, the ROM comes with the Google Now feed on the left which is something that I really, really like. So thank you developers for enabling that or implementing that. And as far as this place goes, the 90 Hertz, 90 frames per second, it's working here. But I do see some stuttering here and there. But overall, it's minimal, nothing too dramatic that's gonna distract you from the experience of the ROM, so don't let that bother you. Uh, moving on to the quick settings, we do get the normal Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, all that jazz. But we do get a compass. How cool is that? Hey, you never know when you might need it. And also, we do have an actual gaming mode. And these are the options. You can block the notifications, disable automatic brightness. You do get the option to silent the ringer, put it on vibrate, or simply do not disturb, which is it's cool because you don't want to get disturbed while gaming. Now, gaming mode has also the indication to turn off the toast or any notifications so they won't interrupt your gameplay. I ran some 3D Mark benchmarks and the results were kind of low, at least compared to other OnePlus 7 Pros according to the scores. Now, while gaming, I didn't see any difference. It felt the same as like always. So forget those scores. Now, moving on to the fingerprint reader, it works quite well. The always on display also works really good. It has a double tap to wake and it's really, really on point. Now, the most important part of the ROM is the configuration center. Now, we're gonna check out some of the features available there. We're not gonna go through all the features because you guys seen them before, so we'll go through some. If we go through status bar, you do you could choose whatever you want. The brightness control. Double, to double tap to sleep on the status bar is there too. So you get the option to always show, like always on or always on while charging, you know, or only when you get a notification, you also get the double tap. So you could also have it pick when you pick up the phone or when you just wave your hand at it. If you go under buttons, we do get the power button options here. You could disable, turn on the torch. So you can use it as a flashlight when you long press the power button under gesture so you get the option to get the pill like the pixel the old school navigation is there and we do get my favorite which is the new gesture navigation from the android 10 under lock screen we do get the double tap to sleep you could also turn on the media art or turn it off and you could adjust the blur level under notifications we do get the option to have the flashlight blink for incoming calls or blink for call waiting you also could turn on the edge lighting under animations you do get a lot of options under battery saving you do get the option to turn on smart pixels suspend actions now under miscellaneous you have gaming mode so this is where you have to turn it on otherwise it's going to tell you that it's off you also get wake up and charge charging animation and the option for a screenshot type, like full, you know. Now, if we talk about the battery, you know, uh, warp charging works, Bluetooth streaming works. For whatever reason, some people told me that I sounded a little low in calls while using the Bluetooth. Now the camera that comes free install works as well. If you flip through the camera icon, you can use all the cameras, but after switching to all three, you so sometimes you get an error and it'll force close. If that happens, just go into the settings and force close the app. Now, as far as, as, far as battery goes, for me, it hasn't been that good nor bad, but it's been okay. And I'm not going to blame the ROM simply because I decided to change the kernel to a custom one. I'm using Smurf kernel and that's what I'm using. So I installed the Spectrum app and kept it on balance mode all the time. Also guys, this ROM has that notification bug and I call it a bug because almost every AOSP ROM has it where when you get a notification, you get a loud rattling noise. It's so annoying, but I found a workaround. So if you install a custom kernel, you could just download FK kernel manager from I think Franco. 
is a developer and it works for all kernels so just lowering the setting under vibration and you get no more rattling and that is music to my ears i love that now i don't have to deal with that so what i think about this rom overall is good would i recommend it maybe if you want customization then yes you should look into it if you're looking for a pixel type rom then maybe wait for the pixel experience to be fixed still the battery could be better with some tweaks sound seems a little too low and we do get a dedicated gaming mode but the great thing about this rom is that developers are always active maintaining the rom so any of the things that might not work right now they'll be fixed soon enough because they're always active but guys thank you for the support thank you for everything thank you for my subscribers and we're getting close to 100 if you guys want to reach out to me or need help follow me on twitter with at big timer 110 that's where i stay that's where you can find me and thank you guys for everything and i'll catch you guys on the next videos bye